Hello again, everybody. It's still Wednesday, July the 11th. I moved a little because there's a lady wants to get up on the sidewalk, and she's on a walker. So I moved my car down. Um, yeah, when I was talking to them, my phone rang and kicked me out of camera mode. But I'm only one house away from where I was. So we'll finish this up, go across the hill. Going to be two videos together, one and two. I don't know how to do it if there is a way to put them both together, back together as one video on my phone. If there is a way, I don't know how to do that. <coughs> Damn. <sighs> Down here where they tore the homes down on the left-hand side on Evans. Um, Traco was here working for a few weeks afterwards. They tore the next block down. They tore the homes down on the left-hand side down there. Uh, beyond those cars. And then they tore a home down on the right-hand side. But they, they, they meaning the people that do the work, kept coming through and working on the hill here where, where they had torn the three or four homes down there. But what I realize now, I'm trying as I said, I'm trying to keep up with my own time. There used to be a wall going across here that they've taken completely out. So that's what they were doing over there. That was after they tore this one down. So it is. And we'll head on up to, uh, toward Beaver where I saw them homes torn up on the weekend. I was really surprised that they tore the homes down on the weekend. wasn't something that I thought that they would have done. And the alley. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay, with all the weeds, I'm guessing that's empty. I'm guessing, I don't know for sure, but it looks like it. That's condemned. My grass is getting high again too, I gotta get it cut. This one I noticed one of my other videos, that foundation's crumbling. This is Soul Street, everyone. Look at the green growing up on that one. And the one down there with a hole in the roof. Come on, phone. Go back to where I want you.
with all that they're tearing down. You know, at least they get pictures of the buildings before they're torn down. Those are empty. Oh, that one was empty. Alright. Let's head over to where we saw them. Well, where we all saw them, if you watched my videos. To where we saw them on the weekend. See what else might be going on. This is federal, both ways. And we are on Bailey. This is Converse, even though it doesn't go through anywhere there. Converse. Willow we just passed. This is Flagler. Follow that down. Turns into White Street. I believe I got a brake hanging up, probably a stuck caliper. I don't hear anything going on up here right now. We're on Beaver, everybody. Yeah, there's nothing going on here now. Wonder how many stairwells they'll leave in. I call them the stairwells to nowhere now. Stairway to nowhere. I hear something else working. They're here. That's why I hear it. Turn around and sit the other side of the street. Besides, I got a Jeep right up on my rear end. Yeah, I got a brake hanging up. Maybe I can get one of my kids to take it to the shop while I'm out with my eyes. <laughs> no, 
they're cleaning up and backfilling. I'll go down Union and check on Ridge and around because the track hose was down there the other day too. How you doing, guys? Dream, yeah, I can understand that. I've lived here all my life. I know you told me that before. Yeah. How you doing, man? How you doing? You get some photos of all the houses it used to be. Uh, right I'm trying to. I didn't know you were working up here on the weekend. I was uh, I was sitting down eating park and saw the dump trucks going up and down course and thinking, where are they going today? Uh, we worked on Saturday. We, worked, we didn't work Tuesday. See, I didn't know. Okay. And I just try to catch them. I, I'm over on Riverview, parallel and beaver here, yeah, you know? Yeah, cool, cool, cool. yeah. I, I remember your name. I'm sorry. Walt. My Walt. name is Walt, my friend. Diamond Dave. Shake your hand. Like your shirt, man. Diamond Dave. What's your last name? Morton. Okay. okay. I, I, knew, I knew a Diamond Dave who used to come down in the Legion all the time. I just can't think of his last name. Was he a DJ? No. Older guy? He would have been my age. I'm 62 now. I'm 68, brother. Okay. A lot of gray hair, but I'll tell you what. I, 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 I work as a motherfucker 20, 25 to 1. Ladies, you piece of shit. See you. It's nice meeting you, man. You all take care. Yeah. All right. Let's check down around. Corson or not Corson? Ah. I'm going to go down Union. And see where the traco was sitting on Ridge over the weekend. See if they're doing anything else that way. I gotta get my mind right. Um, tell me what movie that's from, everybody. You may need one pair of chains. You may need two pair of chains, but you ain't going to need no third pair of chains because you're going to get your mind right. Look at that one all grown up and over. There's a lot of movie cliche lines, and I, I don't know why they're stuck in my head. He just told us why they worked on Saturday. They didn't work at Tuesday, the holiday. My goodness. Yeah. got the red light and I'm sure you all know the bridge is not fixed. I don't even know if it ever will be.
how far you can see without the homes there. Over to West Mifflin. And I know that I've filmed these already. There was a track I was sitting down here on a weekend. So I'm thinking maybe, who knows. Uh, you see the dirt in the street? It was sitting there. They've apparently taken on and out of here. Yeah, because there it was sitting. So nothing else is going on down this way either today. And that one's condemned. I thought they just might have moved on to the next home, but instead they're uh, playing chess or checkers with all these homes. Shame all of them are leaving. They're all getting torn down, man. Anything with an X. Yeah. <laughs> I know of one house in McKeesport that was lived in. It's over on Walnut. That that happened to. They sprayed the X on it before the ordinance officer knocked on the door. Yeah. And it was lived in. You take care, my friend. Yeah, I, I the track hoe was there on the weekend, and I saw the dirt there on the street. It's left. But, okay, you are, let's see, 815? No, whether you're 815 or not, or, or 1815. I don't, I think you're just straight 815. And you all know you can't get up Ridge to Versailles anymore. At least if you watch my videos, you know that. Look how grown over this is. When I was younger, none of this was grown up like this. But there, there's the big cement. Oh, whatever they're called. Those aren't K-rails. And the old fence falling in. All right. I'll head back up the hill. Because it looks like nothing else is going on. And if I remember right, this is Enterprise Alley or Enterprise Street. I know the sign said Enterprise. Yeah, you hear another abandoned. And remember the big X that he spoke of? There they are. That's going to be one of the next ones torn down. That is... Oh, where are you at there? I saw you. 1605. With a big X on it. It's going to be one of the next ones torn. If I don't make it out for a week, or who knows how long with my eyes, it may be torn down before I get back down this way. Oh, 
Well, do any of you remember K&R Cards? How about the Argon when it was there? And this one's still here. DC Food Mart. And we're at the corner of Union and Versailles. Or Versailles and Union. However you want it said. on And I did come through Bailey on my way down this direction. There was nothing going on on Bailey. Yeah, Beaver goes down there and around the bend. They may be sightseeing like me. Yeah, that one that I saw from a block up is condemned. There's the sign. Well, there is no way I'm going to be doing any videoing tomorrow. And in a week after that, they're going to work on the other eye. So, take care, guys. All right. How about we go across Beaver? When I was up and down Jenny Lynn here on Saturday, I saw nothing going on there. I know where I want to check. Willow. There's there's one house left occupied in the whole block. You know, this one, this one is that's been empty for years. And no, there's nothing going on down this way. I hope I get down here to be able to watch them being demolished. If I do, I will video it and put it on YouTube. But as I've said, what I'm expecting is if I'm out for a few days or a week, by the time I get back out to video, these are going to be totally gone. Can we go up the alley? Is there room? Yeah. 
yes. At least I think. <laughs> it's still hard to believe I used to live right there. Wow. We lived in that lot I just showed you. My parents and I would walk up the Shoemaker Church, up the alley, and up here to Shoemaker and back home all the time. He's got the right idea, sitting in the shade with his dog. It's hot out. grass growing up on the street. See it's green. For me it looks so different here without the building there. But that building was there all my life till they tore it down this year. Camouflage, you hardly tell there's a house in there. The lived in are empty, the screen door's hanging open. You know, I've said this before in my videos when I catch this little place. That was abandoned before I graduated high school. And maybe abandoned is the wrong word. I know because we walked across here going to school, no one lived in it. And that would be 72 to 76. I'm curious. I know someone right now putting in fence with cast pipe. That's in cement, though. Hey, my thoughts is, would you get in trouble for coming and getting it? If it's still good.
Let's see. I'll tell you how long I've lived here. There's a great house back in there. Right there. Used to have a wooden stairwell to the second floor. Lady I knew, Grace. She was our Sunday school teacher. Who lived there. Because there were Sunday mornings after church. I'd walk her home. Maybe since there's really nothing else going on up here today. How about we check Riverview Park? They were in there weeks back. I, I guess building a new, uh, what would it be called? Building, pavilion. And the house that used to be right there, my father was born in. Okay, yeah, they they have worked on the Riverview Park. Cleaned it up, new fencing, made it nicer. This was Royal D Dairy to my left, Diffendale's Dairy. I believe they closed before Menzi ever did. But yeah, right there was Diffendale's Dairy, which... Changed her name through the years to Royal D. In fact, in Antonsic's office down on 5th Avenue when he used to be my doctor, there was a long picture on the wall, which I think was two or three photos put together, of their horse-drawn uh, milk uh, trucks, but their buggies, whatever I should call them. They were horse-drawn, and they said Diffend Diffendale's Dairy on the side. And this is where Diffendale's Dairy was. But this is what they did with the park. Cleaned it up nice. And that was one of the walls from the building of the dairy. They had the whole block. I think there's... No, that's branches back in there. Yeah. But I figured I'd swing this way to show you into the park that they came in and fixed up. I've had people ask, why don't I show any of the good things in McKeesport? Well, this is one of the good things I'm able to show. You know, they've taken the time to come here and try to make it nicer for the kids. Basketball court's still there. This is the end of Evans as it hits Riverview here. in this at Riverview or I'm sorry on Riverview at Souls there's the old Riverview Baptist Church so everybody you all take care y'all be safe out there and I'll get back out after my eyes heal back up y'all take care everybody and we'll see ya